Hi, and welcome to my challenge your level guide for wave manipulation. So I'm going to go through some techniques that the pros use to set up their waves, as well as some top tier champions that you can play to get started. Nice. It's no secret that Lee Sin has been a top pick in professional play. I mean, just last week I played Lee Sin, so that's at least the three days that people know how strong he is. So what makes Lee Sin so good at manipulating waves? Well, his first ability, Sonic Wave, allows him to project a discordant wave of sound to locate his enemies. I think that speaks for itself. The clear is simple. Sonic Wave into a smooth behind the back ward hop, finishing it with an all for a sleek 6 out of 6 minions. And that is exactly why we're going to have to put Lee Sin in the S tier. Now, the second champion that I'm going to mention is pretty much a no-brainer here, and it's Nami. If you look closely at the wave that she makes, you can clearly see that it isn't the right angle for optimal wave manipulation. But, it is a cute one, so we're going to let it slide. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what tools you've been given. It's about how you use it. So I'm going to show you exactly how to apply this big brain knowledge in your games. Now. A lot of you here might save your bongo wave to use in a fight, but that's just wrong. The enemy is clearly going to freeze the top wave unless we do something here, which is why we're going to blast those minions to hell. Oh fuck! So I mean, yeah, she's okay. <laughs> 